daunting, exhausting, unforgettable. A challenge not for the faint-hearted, this 628 nautical mile offshore journey lived up to its reputation. Inside the 10 minute gun, uh, when you know you're on the track you're starting to race, and there's helicopters. So there's... overwhelming. We're here, we're safe, and we're on our way. That's all we need. It's now 3.45 a.m. on our first night in the Sydney Hobart. We've been uh, receiving some visits. We've got some dolphins uh, swimming around the boat. We're now roughly a little further than halfway over Bass Strait. We've had a good race today. The crew are telling me this is glamour sailing last night when we were sitting out on the deck watching the stars. So, yeah, I don't think we could get much better conditions. It's hard to pinpoint the fun times sometimes when you're out there, you know, it can be tough and everyone's pushing so hard, but I think for me it's a sense of accomplishment when you, when you make it in and, and you pulled it off. I mean, across the finish line in Hobart with, you know, people on the dock clapping you in and kind of have a moment to think what you've, you've just achieved. First time I've done it and yeah, to be honest, I can't wait to do a couple more. It's been fantastic having my daughter here and it was great to have her take us across the line. Thanks, Dad. It was my first Hobart, so it was um, pretty good to have a quick race down. It was um, a bit wet and windy, but a lot of fun. It's like climbing a mountain. It's a, it's a hard experience. It can be scary, it can be hard. It's not for the faint-hearted. Hopefully back next year if he lets me back on board. We'll I see. Know, <laughs> <laughs> so she passed. Pass. Yeah. Did I pass? Yeah, yeah, we'll talk about it later. <laughs>